Okay, it's Kevin Gallant, uh, Gadget MDA. Uh, the next series, uh, we're going to build more gadgets. Um, again, we're going to keep the kind of log cabin theme in, in mind. Um, this, this tutorial is on, uh, we're going to build a little wind turbine uh, for our cabin. It's a futuristic log cabin, uh, pretty high tech. So, uh, anyways, uh, so what, what I'm going to do is start with uh, the top viewport. Um, and we're going to build a, a vertical axis wind turbine. It's got three blades on it. So, uh, so what we're going to do is uh, look at some shapes here. Um, typically, uh, you know, you've got uh, all these primitive shapes. You've got line, rectangular, arc, and we're going to look at the uh, just a star shape today. And um, we're going to put the star shape starter in the center here. <clears throat> and Typically, uh, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six points in the star shape. We're going to go uh, make it rectangular and we're going to modify this star shape and uh, we're going to give it a few different. We're going to give it three points. <clears throat> this would be typical wind, turb or wind turbine, three bladed vertical axis wind turbine we're doing now. And and you can actually do some fillet radius stuff too to kind of give it a little bit of style. Um, but anyways, the uh, <coughs> that would give us a good base, and this is the center point. So again, you can't ignore the power of of, uh, of um, spline shapes and stars. A good example. Another one <coughs> could be the Engon. Um, it's a it's a cool one. Um, it's basically a, Giving you uh, uh, six sides, one, two, three, four, five, six sides, and you can also go into the modifier of that, <coughs> and uh, you can actually bring it sides down to three, and and you still have corner radiuses, <coughs> so you've got a couple different options there for uh, for uh, for the uh, wind turbine. Anyways, we're gonna put this these uh, the end gone one here, the uh, the edges. And we're just going to make a few instant copies of this. So if we change one, um, the other one's changed. So bring these over here. And we're going to take this one here. And in here, you can change the um, <coughs> modifier here. A sec here. With oops, sec here, radius. And, uh, um, and change the shapes of these anytime you want. And now that we've got the 2D kind of basis <coughs> of the uh, we'll go in perspective view and maximize it. <coughs> now these supplies are pretty big. Um, and so we're going to bring all these down and scale them down, these primitive shapes down a bit. Before we do that we're going to save this as a um, base. Now, just so for those viewers that <coughs> don't know what a vertical axis wind turbine is, instead of a horizontal wind farm style, these ones are vertical. And what we're going to do <coughs> is uh, um, add an extrude modifier to each one of these. Okay, and those are your blades. We'll get to that in a minute. And this would be a support. So we'll put extrude on top of this. And that would be the support for your turbine. And we'll bring this one down as the bottom support. <clears throat> and let's go back to the top. Let's build a center um, cylinder. Well, this time we'll just use cylinders. I like uh, extended primers and do a chamfered cylinder um, instead of a typical cylinder. Give it a little bit of <coughs> little style here. Let's bring her down here a bit. Oops, let's do that again. Let's make it a bit bigger than normal. And bring it down in height. <coughs> so that's kind of your, your uh, the center of the turbine. 
Um, and anyways, that is a vertical axle wind turbine, and the wind actually goes in here. So the idea of we want to kind of prove the concept and uh, to rotate this turbine, uh, it'd be easy just to use a select and link and have. Uh, we'll take the grid off at the G so you can get a better perspective. But we're going to link these supports to the center column and link these wind turbine blades to the center turbine and the other support. And you do that by holding down the shift, the, uh, the left mouse button with the select and link on and dragging these to the parent objects. So what you have is a center column, and I'll call it center column so I know. And these are your blade. So I'll call this blade 2. You should always make sure you name your objects blade 1. Put zero one, and blade three, and this is a top support and bottom support. <clears throat> I'm going to save this. And again, easy way to so you add a plus key and it'll increment the. So this will be a little turbine that goes on your cabin. And away it turns around. Okay. And the only one issue is that these have to be profiled. And there's a lot of different ways you can profile. Um, and we'll just add one of them. Let's just select one of the base ones, base 01, and add a taper on this. Um, taper does some really cool things. Look at the right symmetry here. And you can taper the blade in different directions. So that's one way you can profile. <clears throat> and you can play around with uh, curves. Make it curvy like. Um, so have fun designing your own style. Um, the curve might be a little bit in the wrong direction here. Make that zero again. Let's try this direction. On the X. And add the curve. There we go try cool directions. And so anyways, that's uh, my little example of the wind turbine. Just put the auto key on, select this here. I usually right click this here and make a key. It's kind of a habit I have. And then I rotate this um, with angle snap 360 degrees or just type it 360 degrees here. And then you've got a wind turbine that you can show your buddies. You can increase the speed if you want. So have fun making your own cabin wind turbine. And this is the gadgets from Gadget MDA. Take care.